Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at my newest custom, which is an original character. Um, my customer wanted an original female ninja character, so this is what we came up with using the Figma body of, uh, I think her name was Honda Futao? I don't remember offhand what the base character's name is, but either way, this one is named Shizuka, which is... Uh, roughly translated to quiet child uh, So it, that's kind of fitting for a ninja and so that's the name we gave her and he wanted purple involved in the design And pretty much otherwise said I could do whatever I wanted well I wanted to make her have blue hair because I found a really nice blue paint that I wanted to use and it fit the design So I figured what the heck we'll do that. So it's got blue hair uh, and then the, the outfit is black and purple mostly this lower part is kind of like a pearlescent plum with this kind of uh, lavender for accent pieces and we have the lavender accent pieces throughout here as well and then for the top part we have the gloss black on her chest and had a few pieces around on the armor uh, but for the most part the black is a flat black because we wanted the contrast in uh, in the finishes and then the gray is also a flat gray the purple, the uh, lavender purple, has a little bit of a gloss to it, but not much. And then we have the metallic gourd, gold throughout the rest of the figure. Uh, so it's just a, a whole bunch of different um, finishes to make the figure stand out. She's got kind of like a future tech armor. And that's what he wanted, so that's what we went with. And then, of course, I just tied in the face mask part with the lavender on the rest of the figure. I repainted the... Uh, eyebrows on the base figure to match the hair, but I left the eyes alone because they were already a nice purple Didn't need to change that um, All the armor is sculpted from scratch the chest is resculpted except for the top part of her boobs All of this armor is, re is sculpted all the top part and back part is sculpted um, I actually increased the range of motion for the articulation a little bit same thing for the hips all of these accent pieces are sculpted I had to re-sculpt the entire lower torso other than the belly button that you can kind of see Everything else has been re-sculpted because she had Articulation and other piece, pieces on there that I had to get rid of so I did that and then the lower legs are all re-sculpted also and she's got this knee armor which is kind of like a uh, layered armor so the knee is in there, but it tucks in still so you have the one solid look going on So I did that and then the feet are mostly the same I just changed the top part a little bit to have a little bit of a gray plate on there, so uh, That's it for the base part of the figure. She has a whole bunch of hands We have eight extra hands right here The two hands that are on there plus one other one that doesn't fit on the tree So she's got a whole lot of posing variety We have interchangeable faces we have the one with the mask on, we have one with the mask off, just a plain look. And then we have one angry one with the mask off also, because you don't need an angry one with the mask on since you can't see the mouth anyway. So we've got a variety of three faces all on one figure. And they just pop out like they did originally for interchangeability. Uh, she does have a knife that I made for her, but I forgot to bring it with me, and so I can't show you that. But she has a knife, and then she also has the sword and scabbard, which is from the original figure. Um, I liked the red contrast, so I left that, but I added the purple in and the purple and black on this part. And I made the blade purple and black with the blade part, so she's got that. And then she, he, st he wanted the original spear also, so I redid the spear that she came with to have the gold, black, and purple accents. And this is a three-part, and you can take it apart and make it humongous, or make it short, depending on what you want. So that's why there's all these different pieces. But we gave the purple and black and gold to this part as well, so it all ties in together. You can stick around at the end for photos to show all of these different things, so you can see it in action. But there it is, that's my newest custom. I really... I uh, enjoyed doing this one because it has all the different finishes with the flats and the satins and the gloss and the metallics and pearls and everything else. It was a whole lot of fun and I like doing that. And so you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see... My, oh, one last thing I forgot. I also re-sculpted this top piece also for where the hair connects because it had some kind of weird thing on there. So I sculpted that. Alright, there it is. Okay, so thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and keep collecting.